think uh, it could be a really boring song. Um, this song is about public displays of affection. Um, it's a uh, it's a song. So, uh, some friends of mine um, asked me to write a wedding song for them. Uh, to which I replied, "Have you ever heard my music?" <laughs> I was like that doesn't make any sense. That's like asking like Morrissey uh, to write the jingle for Chick Fil A, <laughs> something like that. Or spitball, but it's something like that. So that'd be like maybe asking Nick Cave to write like a uh, theme song for a reboot of Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> I should keep going with this. What else? Could that be? <laughs> Um, okay, that would be like Elliot Smith um, writing, uh, scoring a bunch of songs for Glee. <laughs> Elliot Smith, you know, we just love your music. Will you come back from the dead and write songs for next season's Glee? <laughs> he would do a great job, though. <laughs> I seriously would watch Glee if Elliot Smith's ghost wrote all the way up. <laughs> I mean, you guys are laughing, but you wouldn't. <laughs> Tell me you wouldn't watch Glee if, if anybody's ghost wrote uh, numbers. So this song is uh, kind of an anti-ode, uh, an anti-anthem of sorts for public displays of affection. Uh, this was my response to them. I told them, yeah, I'll write you a wedding song, and I'll call it your love is bumming me out. <laughs> well, here you two, in the same side of the booth, picking out spinach from your lovers, too. Your love is bumming me out. Your love well, it is bumming me out. And all you middle schoolers hanging at the mall, Getting frisky outside of the big and tall. Your love is bumming me out. Your love, well, it is bumming me out. Like a big fluorescent mushroom cloud. You spread your loving. Thank you. 